Jeff Sink here from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Got a great song for you this week. We Rock by Dio. Great powerhouse song, and I know you're going to enjoy learning how to play this. I'm going to take you through it stage by stage. I'm going to show you all the various parts. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's just look at that uh, intro section that I played at the beginning there, which is actually the chorus section of this song. So I'll just go through the various positions. They're very similar to things you've seen before, J.K. Lee when he was doing Bark at the Moon. There's a lot of this pedaling that you're going to be playing on the A string across these chords. But first of all, the first chord that you're going to play, he's played, it's an A5 chord, but you're going to be playing it across the D and the G string. So you're going to be playing D5, uh, D7 and G9. Then you're going to uh, put your little finger on G10. Then you're going to switch the fingers here. You're going to move your third finger up to the D9 and put your first finger onto G7. Then switch them back, so you've got this again on D7 with the first finger and G9. Then you're going to move down again, switching the fingers. So your third finger now is going to be on D7 and your third finger is on G5. And then you're going to move up two frets, so you've got D9 and you've got G7. So they're the chords, you've got... Might be an idea to practice that before you start putting in the pedal with the A. So just run through that a few times just so you've got it. Again, listen to the record. So you've got that rhythm change, that... Uh... So once you've got that, then it starts to make it a little bit easier when you're playing this pedal. Now with this A, what we're doing here... Uh, I've heard a few people play this and uh, they're actually playing too many notes. Uh, and when you play Bark at the Moon, he's playing a four part down, down, down. But in this, he's just playing down, up, down. So we're playing that first part, then. Now, what he's doing when he hits this part, he's going to play two. So we've got three going in, and then this. And then we start over again. Let me do that again a bit tidier. Back in. Quite, uh, quite difficult when you do it at the slow time. Uh, so let me just run through this. Uh, quite a slow tempo so you get the idea what we're doing here. full layout so let's just bring this a little bit more up to speed so that's your pattern now again I would take that a little bit slower at first don't go and try and thrash it out straight from the start what you will end up doing, you'll end up playing four notes, but you've got to get that downstroke and then the four, then the downstroke. So do take your time to work that, just to get that right. Now, at the beginning, when you've got this little intro, you've got this little riff that plays through, um, which is an overdub, but he does play this on the live sequence. We've got this. Uh, what we're playing there, we've got this on A5. Going to A7. Moving back to D3. To 
D5, sliding up onto G5, going back to G4 to G5. Now you can either go back to A2 or you can go to D7. It's entirely your choice. And again, put a little bit of a brata. And then it would be back into that rhythm section. Now, obviously, the rhythm section has started when you're playing that. So, uh, kind of, you're not going to go straight back into it. You're going to cut that note, uh, hold that note, and then you're just going to pick it up. Okay. Now, he goes through that, plays that... Uh, one more time and then we go into this little section where he's building up ready to get into the first verse so let me just take you uh, show you through and then I'll break it down for you now all I'm playing there I've got that usual sequence then I'm going for an F five, a five chord to a G5 and then we play an E5. And then we're playing, which is a C5 to a B5. And we've got that A5 there. So I'll just play it with the verse section, and then we'll break it down. Verse starts on the back of you coming from that progression of that C. And that's the start of the bar. So we get this one, two. And then we're going to play that kick in on the three, two. And then we've got a whole bar of like an Iron Maiden gallop. Followed by this E5. Going to an E augmented, now the E5 is 2 on the D, 4 on the G, and then I just drop my little finger here on G5. From that we then go back to the gallop, to a G, and we hold the G for 2 bars, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to an A5, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, that again for two bars going back to an A one, two, three, four, one. now this part I'm just playing five on the D five on the G put my little finger on G4 and I'm just going to be lifting the third finger four times and then we back in to the chorus section, which of course is that. Play that through exactly what you played before. Now, at the end of that one, we don't have that uh, FGE. <laughs> What he does there, he stays on the F for the first ones. And then goes back, so we get this. Then back into a verse. Now, there is also some little variations that he puts on the next time round. So let's just have a quick look at them. So let me just show you... Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play you the uh, turnaround on the end of verse for number three, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So we played through the initial riff, 
But this time, as you saw, there was an ascending line. And I'm, what I'm playing is an F5 to a G5 to an A5. Then you can play it here if you want. So you could go. You can, then it's a B5, C5 to a D5. Then he goes back into the rhythm section. So let's look at the verse going into the guitar solo. <laughs> So what we got there, we got our normal rhythm, we'll be playing through, and when we come out of that, we are going to go to uh, what will be seen as an F5 chord, so I'm on the, the D string on 3, and I've got my little finger on G5, so I'm going to play, then I'm going to move down to 2 on the D, open string D, plus 2 strings, back, to the two and the five, to three. Then I play an E5, so I'm playing two on the D, four on the G. Then I've got an F5 to a G5 to an A5. So let me just go through the chords in the, the guitar solo. So we start off, we're on that A, because we've used that as we came out of that F. There's our first A, and we play all that for two bars, and then... So let me just... So let me just play through the chords used in the guitar solo. To a chorus, we come out of the chorus, we go into another verse, back to a chorus, and the chorus takes us to the fade out on that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson learning how to play We Rock. Uh, it is a great lot of song, it really is a good workout for your right hand here with that little pedal point on the A. Do take your time, practice, build it up slowly. Well, I'm going to let you go, and you can get on to practice this and enjoy yourself doing that. So until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well. Thanks for your company. Sure, I'll see you again soon. Till then, goodbye.